New, 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 new. New, 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 new. New, 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 new. All right. Okay. Uh, first up. Finally in stock, we've got this. Look at this awesome video from New Products this showing cool. off. This is the Arduino image loader demo showing how you can load bitmap images by connecting the TFT gizmo to your Circuit Playground Express. We have this lovely 240 by 240 pixel display on Circuit Playground Express. Um, you can use it with Arduino or Circuit Python, and it works with the Circuit Playground Classic, Express, or Blue Fruit. Um, I'll say that you're gonna get the best performance from the uh, new Blue Fruit Circuit Playground Express because it's the fastest, um, and you can use that with Arduino or Circuit Py uh, Python. If you're using it with the Express, um, you can use it with CircuitPython, but it's not very fast. I would recommend Arduino. And in uh, the Classic, of course, Arduino is the only thing that will work. I even have a little video on uh, the overhead I can show. So you can see it's um, running a little random number generator demo with- A little pocket Python, that's cute. Ripple. Yeah, this is kind of the extent of what it can do. Um, and you've got the uh, Circuit Playground um, Express still. Oh, I should have rotated the code, but whatever. Uh, it's upside down. And then you still have a speaker connector down here. So if you want to have audio playback, you can plug in the speaker. It's one watt speaker that we love. Uh, we also have a three watt speaker and it just bolts yeah. in. So it's a really easy way to add a little display. And then, you know, you have the buttons and the sensors and the buzzer and the switch and the, you know, microphone on here. And then you can display stuff on this beautiful display. This is like one of my so. favorite new products. Not only is the, the silk beautiful on it, Classic. front and back, but um, it's a really nice pocketable, portable Python. It, it's just cool to have this with you. I right think now. especially paired with the Circuit Playground Blue Fruit, the new one that went, yeah. it's an alpha right now, this is, what, this is where it's at because it's going to be super fun to have portable wireless with a display yeah. output. Put one of those on one of these and you'll be able to um, do all sorts of wireless stuff with it and display it on the screen. Okay. Next up, um, this is a big deal. We have three different cosplay packs in yes. partnership with Cartoon Network. Yes, so we put the Cartoon Network stickers in the store like we could go, and we want to follow up with a bunch of cosplay kits. And we have three cosplay kits, and I made them like $40, $50, and $60, yeah. so you can start with like, the basics. You know, Each one of them will give you everything you need to build a bunch of projects, but you get a little bit more with each one. So the first one, if you can click to the left, yeah. So the first one is the, the least expensive, the most basic one to get started with. It's the introductory kit. You get a Circuit Playground Express, which you can, again, can run MakeCode, Circuit Python, or Arduino, or other languages. You get AAA batteries, a AAA battery holder, so you can take it portable, and it's a really nice battery holder with a switch and a belt clip, so you can easily attach to your cosplay. You get all 22 Circuit uh, Playground stickers from Cartoon Network with custom art on them, uh, and this the star of the show, which is the NeoPixel strip that Alligator clips on. It's a meter long, and you get 30 controllable LEDs in addition to the 10 LEDs on the Circuit Playground Express. So you get, can do a lot of neat projects, and we've done projects over the last few months in preparation for these packs. So we've got like the sword project that I just showed off. We've got a bunch of um, gem projects, either gems that you can kind of attach onto your belly button uh, non permanently or in your hand if you want to uh, cosplay as Steven Universe characters. Um, we also did um, the lamp from Adventure Time. We got like six or seven different projects. Yep. The next kit is a step up. You get everything from the previous pack and you also get a battery extension cable so you can extend the battery out so it doesn't have to be so close to a circuit playground. A protective plastic case to keep your circuit playground all t uh, cozy and tidy and uh, less likely to break. They're very durable, but you know, it's good to protect it a little bit. Um, a magnetic clip that you can affix onto the back of the case or the Circuit Playground Express so that you can um, attach to clothing or your backpack without having to actually pin through the fabric, which could um, add little holes, which I think are not preferable. And a roll of capacitive touch nylon metal tape. So this is a really great tape that you can, you get like a whole roll of it, you get a ton, and um, you can use it to make it uh, capacitive touch pads, which allow you to add interactivity really easily when you touch something, um, it can turn on. So for example, you can go to the overhead real fast. I'll show, it's what's used here, oh, it's so close. It's what's used here in this project um, to detect whether you're holding the handle of um, the sword. And you see when I touch it, 
but when I touch the uh, capacitive touch, it lights up the LEDs. So this is just uh, wrapped around one of the capacitive touch sensing pads. When you touch it, rainbows. When you don't touch it, no rainbows. So easy way to add interactivity and programming to your cosplay project. And the final pack is all of that stuff. Plus you also get a bolt-on kit. You get a triple AA battery holder so your projects last even longer. Uh, a pop rivet kit and um, a Stemma speaker, which we'll show off shortly, which is a way yeah. to easily add a louder sound. There's a little speaker on the Circuit Playground Express, but it's not that loud. Um, adding the speaker with alligator clips will get you um, a much louder sound effect, so you can bleep and bloop, and people will yeah. hear you even at a busy conference. And we think a lot of people are going to make this uh, sort of thing, so that's why we included that on the uh, product page yeah. as well, especially when you have the, the Mega Pack. Yes. Okay, more blinky ahead. Here we go. We also now have, this is an update to an old kit. It's actually, that's why the PID is like 1679 or something. This is the old Instrument 8x8, um, but we've updated it. Now it has the Neo Trellis um, 4x4 boards instead of the old Trellis boards. So uh, it's got full color LEDs. It also no longer uses the Leonardo, which we loved, but is, is no longer carried by us. And so we wanted to upgrade to the Feather, which lets you also do wireless stuff. So you can do Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Here it's shown with the uh, NRF52 Bluetooth Feather. Um, and you can put a battery in it, and it's got a space for a switch. So you get all the parts you need. You do have to do a little bit of soldering and construction. And it's also less expensive, even though it's full color, because we, we worked on making it less expensive to make. Um, and you get this full controllable button pad where you can press any of the 64 buttons and send MIDI commands or wireless commands, what have you. Um, so the pack includes all the, but, uh, the buttons you need, the Neotrellis um, pads, and the plastic enclosure, as well as a Feather M4. And if you want to upgrade it, you can add a switch and a battery. Next up. Next up, this simple TC74 uh, temperature sensor. It's a through-hole I2C temperature sensor. Um, we have it by request so it can go into a pack. And I thought, I'll put this in the store because where to see a through-hole I2C temperature sensor, That's but weird. it's breadboard friendly. And uh, we have Arduino and CircuitPython libraries. Coincidentally, it's the same protocol as the sensor we're putting in the store in a couple weeks. So I was like, bonus. Cool. We got the code ready to go so you can get going. Okay, there's more. We have 10 pack of vertical style Stemma QT slash quick connectors. So um, yeah. you may have seen these on some of our boards. So I can show this off. Yeah, we call our thing Stemma Stemma QT and it's compatible with Quick, Grove, Gravity, and probably something else. Yes, and of course I don't have the little... Oh, oh what, do you, wanna, what do you want to do? Oh, I was going to show how small they are because they are okay. so small. So to show it... So this is the horizontal style um, one, and you see these cables. They're very nice, solid cables. I really like this connector, actually. I was a little not so sure it would be great, but it's actually <coughs> quite solid, but you can yank it out when you need to, and you can uh, use it multiple times. And this is the vertical style. So this one, you would have it go up. It solders onto the PCB like this, whereas this version goes to the side. So this is the two different types of connectors. So we'd use this one when you want the cable to go out this way, and this one when you want the cable to go up, and now we have both connector types. All right, so let's moving keep along. moving along here. We got a lot of stuff. These are basic um, micro clips. So they're low cost, they're simple. Uh, you do have to solder a wire to them, but you know, if you want to have a uh, clip that can connect to um, a circuit board, so I'll show a demo real fast because I can show two things at once. Hold on, get my demo going. So on the overhead, so I've got this, uh, you know, the, this temperature demo, because I want to show that. So you got these clips, and when you pull out the back, they pull pretty easily, there's a tab, and you would solder a wire to this tab. So it's a little bit DIY, so you can make your own wires, but then when you yank it out, you see there's a little grabber. Yeah. So then you can grab onto like this leg, and now you can have a contact to that without having to use the breadboard. Really useful for larger surface mount parts. Um, these are pretty good little grabbers. I like them. And you get, of course, one of each color. You get like red, yellow, blue, green. So you get a whole pack. And uh, with a little bit of soldering, you can make your own very nice test clips. All right. There's more. 
the star of the show. Besides the, the community and besides you, Lady Ada. Yeah, thank you. The star of the show today is the Stemma Speaker, which you might yeah. be like, that's the that's the name uh, of the that's, code. Yeah, Stemma Sound, and I'll tell you what I like about this. I like the uh, back of the board a lot. That was because you just you just designed it. No, mm -hmm. I didn't design this. Yeah, you said like this is what I want. Yeah, I I uh, add some ideas for yeah, it. Yeah, inspiration. Um, so what's neat about this is that we've had a bunch of projects where you would um, want to add audio output to like a Circuit Playground Express or like a micro bit, and we wanted to have a little slim speaker add-on. So um, what's nice is that there's two ways to connect. You can either use this Stemma JST cable, which is a two millimeter pitch cable, which we have various types of, or you can connect to these alligator clip pads. So if you have, uh, I do have something with alligator clips. So if you have alligator clips, you can clip onto here, and then red is power, and then this is, sorry, this is ground, this is, yeah, and this is signal. Man, these are slippery. Slippery buggers. Okay, so you can clip onto that, and so you can send signal this way, or you can send it this way, either way. Um, I personally like this cable because it's nice and sturdy. And you've got our one watt oval speaker, a class D amplifier, and then of course it's very clear what it is. And then you can um, easily connect it up to your Circuit Playground Express or Microbit or other audio output type design. And um, then it amplifies it. So you get some bops. And that's how it works. Um, okay. So it's really easy, and uh, yeah, no soldering required. You just plug in this cable, and then you just clip it onto whatever you want. We also have a version of this cable that has um, socket or plug type, like 0.1 inch pitch header, so you can plug into a breadboard. But it's a nice compact design. It's everything you need. Just it's a little speaker, ready to go. You don't need to get an amplifier, wire it up. You know, and can you connect coupling. a bunch of these together? You can. You will get one output per each. Okay. So you would, you know, you could theoretically connect one to like you know, well, I have one of these cables and parallel them through, you'll just get multiple speakers cool. and then to make sure you have enough battery. All right. And with that is a uh, new product this week. Yay. All right. Let's, uh, recap. recap time. New, 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 We've got back in stock or finally in stock, the TFT gizmo. It's a 240 by 240 pixel 1.5 inch TFT plus audio amplifier board for your circuit playground express or Blue Fruit, it's a great little add-on that adds visual output and audio amplification. We have three cosplay kits in partnership with Cartoon Network. We've got the, uh, the introductory kit, the basic kit, and um, the works kit. Each one has more and more stuff. Based on the Circuit Playground Express, you can make projects with MakeCo. We've got tons of projects for you to follow along, um, including this pretty sweet sword, which has capacitive touch when you pick it up. Uh, we've revised the instrument 8x8. It's now the Neotrillus 8x8, and it uses a feather. It's kind of in a redesign, but now you can use any feather board you like, uh, and you get full color Neotrellis output, not just one color. The uh, TC74 uh, is a through hole I squared C temperature sensor. We've got Arduino and CircuitPython code. It's not the most precise sensor, but it is the most breadboard friendly. These vertical JST SH cables work great with quick or STEM QT cables. Uh, if you're designing a board, you can pop this on uh, to add quick plug and play support. These are uh, a six pack of colorful micro clips. Um, you solder onto the ends and you can make your own test probe cables. The Stemma speaker is uh, easy to use JST Stemma or alligator clip friendly micro um, audio amplifier. It comes with a one watt speaker, class D amplifier, uh, and you just plug and play it with your Circuit Playground Express or anything else that has audio output. Works great with micro bits, breadboards, what have you.